Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 5 of season 2 of a regular at Magic High School. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, what the fuck happened today? That's all I want to freaking know. Cause, whoa, my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh god, I need to fix this damn chair! <sighs> that, or I'm just gonna have to buy a new one, but I'm gonna have to wait till next year. Be careful, though. Yeah, you have a right to be pissed. <laughs> mm, not before Miyuki does! Because Miyuki, best girl, is just gonna be like, Onisama. And be like, hmm, hmm. Is that what this whole episode is gonna be, basically? <laughs> I mean, I am mad at that because, of course, when it is Valentine's Day, you know, girls are just like, here, take my chocolate. As a version of my love, and it's just so cute. But then there are some girls who are fucking crazy, and those are the ones that you really wanna watch out for. I feel bad for some guys and girls who are on the other team. <laughs> I mean, because, like, you know, us as females, like, I've never given away, like, homemade chocolate. But, like, even as a, you know, when we were kids and we had to do the candy thing or, like, a Valentine's thing-ish and everything. But when you find that one guy that you had, like, a big crush on. Because I dealt with this when I was a kid. And I would, like, give them a little bit more. <laughs> Out of me, be like, why the fuck are you giving them more than us? And I'm like, it's just candy. Oh my god. <laughs> but when it comes to little kids, I'm like, no, I need that candy. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> Jessica? Did you just wake up? <laughs> so fucking cute, oh my god, baby. So, Tatia, do you know?
Um. Oh. Basically, yeah. Yeah, and then, I, I mean, of course, that would be bad because then, you know, everything would be fucked up. I get that. Yeah. Not only that, but you a little bit jealous, and that's fine. <laughs> This makes me more hungry because I haven't eaten anything. The last thing I ate was an ice cream sandwich. Got you too. What exactly is in that freaking truck?
I get that. So, let's go. I am dead. <laughs> I'm looking at she's a good stuff. Of course you are. Mm. Of course Lena's there too. And because she's there makes her look fucking sus- Mia! Oh my god, I forgot she was coming! Oh, oh, Jesus, this makes it look hella suspicious now. And they're all around her, too. But Mia wouldn't do anything wrong, though. Well, <laughs> can't we just talk this out first? I mean, seriously, Mia wouldn't do anything wrong. Shit, she blocked that. Well, we got no choice. We just might as well fucking kill her. I'm just saying.
Hmm. And you know what? It makes the most sense. Because any freaking time Lena asked where Mia was, what's her face had? Like, mm, she kind of maybe had something, but still, we still wonder what I have this bitch at. Oh my god. Sure, right though. Shit. Honestly, Yash all should have fucking died. Behind the school, maybe? Or away from the school? Right there? Mm -hmm. Which could be any one of y'all. But still, she wants to help. She'll feel useless. That too! I can't with these two, oh my god! Okay, there you are. 
<laughs> Shit. Cody. Right here. On my thigh. Thank you. Yeah, but the damn thing probably gonna heal as well. I'm just saying. God. Here, you go over there. I just, god damn, I don't even know what the fuck to say about this. This episode went by fast, that's all I need to say. I never would have thought that it would have been Mia, because I was assuming that, okay, whatever it was about Mia, we weren't gonna know until later on into the series, and yada yada, this is why she's kind of been placed in the back burner, but no, the fact that she was possessed by a parasite, I mean... What I thought was also going to happen was Lena was going to say something like, no, like, my best friend wouldn't do ish like that. Like, you got the wrong idea. Yada, 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 bullshit, bullshit, bullshit that I've seen in other animes and such when you find out that the bad guy is also your best friend. So, but you really love that best friend so much that you're willing to protect them from everybody else. Hell, maybe even die for them. But thank God that ain't happened because, ooh, if that did... Uh, Lena too much of a best girl to fucking die. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, oh. But it is gonna go find someone. And it's gonna be somebody who's close. I don't know who. I'm... Isn't that the girl from the opening as well? You know who I thought it was possibly going to possess? You know the nurse from season one? Because she technically hasn't really made an appearance yet. I just want to hear her voice because that's Carcaptor Sakura, a bitch in a nutshell. But, because, like, I'm thinking everybody from season one was going to make an appearance. I think she's officially the only one who has not made an appearance for this show. I mean, oh, God, but... I hope Mizuki's okay. I hope she's not going to be blind. It's just a lot for five episodes. I mean, this it has been nonstop action, and I love it. There's been some slow stuff, and I'm okay with that slow stuff. But that fast-paced action, like, mwah, like, thank you, Jesus. But, I mean, what if it takes them a little bit longer to figure out that the maid is the parasite this time? I mean, it took them five episodes to figure out that ish. On Mia, so how long is it gonna take for this maid? I mean, I, I got no fucking clue because mm, I ain't read shit and I don't want to know. I mean, ugh, but God, like, <laughs> you know, if they didn't show that, and let's say we got into next week and every new character we would have met until we found out who the parasite was, I would have been hella suspicious about. But because of the fact is they've gone ahead and shown it. Since we now know and everybody else doesn't know, I mean, you're just going to be sitting here for the next few weeks looking like, oh, when they going to find out. I mean, but it would have been better if they just wouldn't have shown that little after credit scene, I think, in my opinion, because it just would have been more fun, quote unquote, to figure out who it possibly could have been. I'm just saying, but that's just me. But yeah, it was a really good episode. Just got my heart. Even like a sleepy half drunk <laughs> she's a good was like the most adorable thing ever with her angelic layer bullshit looking like what's her face i just can't remember her name right now <laughs> but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode five of season two are you okay 
of a regular at Magic High School. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 6. Bye, guys.